All right, thank you for joining me today, ladies and gentlemen, nerds and nerdettes. We are going to open, da, 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 yes, good old collector's box. Yes, we're going to do this one today. Let me go ahead and throw up a little shot there. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what we're looking at. Nice, pretty, love the box. Big old beholder face right up front. If you're going to do D&D, you got to throw that on there. It's dragons, beholders, those are the big faces of the game. Uh, loving the set. Having a lot of fun with it. Uh, play a lot of D&D myself. Uh, got a couple of videos up that we need to uh, get up so you guys can check them out. Um, but yes, that is uh, name of the game right now. So we're going to pop this open, see what we get. I am Chaos as always. Thank you for joining me here at uh, Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. All right, let's get to the fun. But first, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna throw this to the side here. We're gonna roll a d20. We we got the bundle, the draft bundle box uh, uh, d20 here. You got the the dragon as the 20 there. Let me see if you guys can check that out. Uh, let's see if we can get. I know I probably showed it off, but if you're just popping in on this video, there it is. Look at that. Big old dragon head. So, all right. Let's get to this one here. So, we're going to... Da -da -da. All right. We're going we're gonna to roll it off. Let's see. Let's see what kind of luck we can get with this box. Oh, a seven. A seven. Not bad. Not horrible. We'll... we'll We'll roll with advantage. Let's let's do it with advantage. We'll we'll roll two, take the higher. Come on, come on. Oh, a thirteen. I'll take a thirteen. Take a thirteen any day of the week over a seven. All right. So we got a thirteen. We're gonna we're gonna put this in the in the upper corner here, just to uh, let that roll. All right. So let's see what it is we're gonna get. All right. So last uh, we did the. Um, Draft Booster Bundle Box. Got some nice cards in there. We got a, a what was it, a deck of many things. Uh, we ended up getting Xanathar himself from the book. Um, you know, uh, Xanathar's book of everything there. Uh, so, let's see what we can get out of this. So we got a Xanathar, we had that, we opened up the set booster box, got a lot of nice tasty things in there. We ended up getting, so of the dragons thus far, those that seem to be the biggest pieces uh, coming out of the set. We've gotten Immelrith, the blue dragon, we've gotten Gnawbone, the green dragon, and then we ended up getting Icing Death, the white dragon, and actually got the Icing Death token as well. So that was very awesome. So let's see... How our luck fares with the collector booster box here. Oh, 12 loaded up sexy packs of Forgotten Realms goodness. Throw that to the side. All right, we're going to just mix these up a little bit here. Just for the heck of it. Not that it matters that much anyway, but it's fun. All right. So... Put them back in two stacks here. Shuffle them around. All right, let's get to smacking. All right, some evolving wilds. We got some very nice stuff coming in here. All right, let's see. Let me make sure you guys can read and check out what's going on. So we got some stuff there. Da -da -da. 50 foot of rope. <laughs> uh, ooh, nice. We got a foil temple of the Dragon Queen. So we've gotten a couple of those. All right, what do we got? Hive of the Eye Tyrant. All right, not coming out of the gate too bad there. Oh, okay, so that's one. So that's going to be one that's in the uh, commander boxes. So let me see if I can get this cleaned up a little bit there. All right. So ride the avalanche. Nice. Instant blue-green. 
Next spell you cast this turn can be cast as though it had flash. Yeah. When you cast your next spell this turn, put a X one one counters on up to one target creature where X is the mana value of that spell. Hot damn, that's nice. Very nice. Uh, Black Staff of Waterdeep. Artifact. Choose not to untap the Black Staff during your untap. Animate Walking Statue. Oh, the Walking Statue of Waterdeep. Hot damn. That's cool. To untap another target non-token artifact you control becomes a 4-4 artifact creature for as long as the Black Staff remains tapped. Ooh. Oops, we got a Manticore there. In the uh, that's in the drawn art, so that's the alternate art they're doing for this set is drawn art. So very nice. Oh, the evolving wilds. That's very cool. Oh, dungeon descent. Yeah, what is this? Let's see. And it's in the old module, uh, module uh, uh, art there. Land dungeon descent enters the battlefield tapped. Tap at a at a colorless mana. Or four and tap, tap an untapped legendary creature you control. Venture into the dungeon. Activate only as a sorcery. Nice. That's pretty cool. Blink Dog in the drawn art foil there. Werewolf Pack Leader. Not bad. In full art foil. And treasure. Treasure! We'll put the treasure up to next to the... Uh, put the treasure up there. So, yes. <laughs> Alright, actually, you know what, let's see. There we go. Alright. Alright, we got a foil mimic. We got, we got more mimics. <laughs> more mimics. So, okay. So we got Goblin Javeliner. We got some other stuff here. Uh, all right, so those are commons. Got some uncommons there. We got the island. And then Dungeon Descent again. This is just the simple foil. And then we got Midnight Path Lighter. Oh, come on. Focus in, Bubba. Come on. There we go. All right, we got the Midnight Path Lighter there. Human Wizard 2 3 for 2 white blue. Creatures you control can't be blocked except by legendary creatures. Ooh. Uh, whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. Very nice. Forsworn Paladin. For one black, human knight, one one, menace. For one and a black, pay one life, tap, pay one life, create a treasure token. Ooh, that's very nice. Uh, for two and a black, target creature gets 2-0 till end of turn. If mana from a treasure was spent to activate this ability... That creature also gains death touch. Nice. That's not shabby at all. More mimics. I'm just going to have so many mimics. I'm going to make a deck full of nothing but mimics. And unfortunately, you can only put one in a deck. But you know what? I'd do it if I could. Oh, very nice. There we go. Our first mythic right on. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to put you down here. Icing Death Frost Tyrant. That's the second copy we've gotten, but this is our first... Full art of that one. Very nice. Lovely pickup there. Uh, Minion of the Mighty. Oh, uh, that's a Cobalt. Oh, okay. Cobalt Menace 01 for one red. Has pack tactics. Whenever Minion of the Mighty attacks, if you attack with creatures with a total power of six or greater this combat, you may put a dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Whoa. That's, woo, baby, that's rough. It's a kobold, nice. And a treasure. All right, what do we got next? 
But we got an Icing Death. That one's going for a pretty penny, so not bad at all. Alright, so let's see. We got some commons here. And then some uncommons. And then we got land. And we got Meteor Swarm. Very nice. And then we got, oh, we got the big one there. We got uh, Klauth, the Unrivaled Ancient. Uh, this one is also in the Commander Boxes. That's where that symbol comes from. Five, Red Green, Flying Haste, 4-4. Four, four. It's a dragon. Whenever Klauth, Unrivaled Ancient, attacks, add X mana in any combination of colors where X is a total power of attacking creatures. Spend this mana only to cast spells. Until end of turn... You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end till end of turn. So actually, if you pump up during your combat phase, you can keep it through to your second main phase and then just pop off with something big and nasty. Very, very nice. That's, uh, that's pretty tasty right there. Oh, and that's a mythic. Oh, that's what. Here we go. Here we go. Many, many, many dragons. Loving that part of this set. Lots of dragons. Aya Vecna. Aya Vecna. You sound like I'm a hawk up a hairball. Uh, I, when Aya Vecna enters the battlefield, you draw a card and lose two life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two. If you do, draw a card and lose two life. Not too shabby. For a deck that may not have blue or green, you need some card draw. But I have Vecna in that puppy. You'll get it. Oh, we got Dritt Doerden. Three green, white, legendary elf ranger. Double strike when Dr Dritt's, yeah. When Dritt's Doerden enters the battlefield, create Guinevar, a legendary 4 1 green, uh, green cat creature token with trample. Whenever a creature dies, if it had a power greater than. Then Dritz's power, put a number of 1-1 counters on Dritz to equal the difference. Very nice. So we do actually have from uh, one of the earlier boxes, we actually picked up Gwenevar. So, hey, we got the uh, Gwenevar to go along with B big nice uh, Dritz here. So, hey, not doing bad. We were looking to get a copy of him, and we did. Oh, and we got the Book of Exalted Deeds. That'll be our second copy, but this is a full art foil version. Very nice. Beginning your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, create a 3-3 three, three white angel creature token with flying. For white, 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 and tap, exile the Book of Exalted Deeds. Put an enlightened counter on target angel it gains. You can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. Activate only as a sorcery. So nice, and you put it out for white, white, white. Very interesting, very nice card there, and a wolf token. Alright, we're not coming out of here doing too shabby at all. Loving what we're getting out of here so far. Alright, so we got our commons there, a couple of uncommons. And that teleportation circle. For three and a white at the beginning of your end step, exile up to one target artifact or creature you control and return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Very nice. Very, very nice. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, Maddening Hex. This is also coming out of the commander boxes. Uh, Enchant Player. Oh, Enchant Player. For one red, red. Uh, whenever Enchanted Player casts a non-creature spell, roll a d6. Maddening Hex deals damage to that player equal to the result. Then attach Maddening Hex to another one of your opponents chosen at random. Well, that's pretty nice. That sounds very agitating and something people would not want to see for very long. Uh, Triumphant Adventurer for White Black. It is a Human Knight 1-1. Death Touch, as long as it's your turn, Triumphant Adventurer has First Strike. When advent Triumphant Adventurer attacks, venture into the dungeon. Into the dungeon with ye! Under Basilisk, we got some giant action there. Oh, we got the Lair of the Hydra with the modular 
uh, art there. Uh, we got, I think, the same one, but in foil before. So, not bad. Not bad. It's a land. And then, oh, Book of the Vile Darkness. Ooh, that looks nice. Look at that. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, if you lost two or more life this turn, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Tap, exile, exal uh, exile the Book of Vile Darkness. And artifacts you control named Eye of Vecna and Hand of Vecna. Create Vecna. Ooh, create Vecna, a legendary 8-8 black zombie god creature token with indestructible and gains all triggered abilities of exiled cards. Ooh, good grief. That's, that's nasty. That is nasty. And then a uh, foil spider. Oh, oh, we got Lolf's uh, uh, spider queen on the back. Actually, we did not look at the back of these. I forgot to tell you. Let's see. Let's see. Do we have like a cool, oh, there's Vecna. And then Zariel, Archduke of Avernus. But we got Vecna right there. <laughs> hey, Vecna came to hang out. Well, interesting. All right, let's go to the next one here. And Divine Smite. I smite ye. All right. So we got Guardian of Faith. Ooh, nice. One white, white. Spirit Knight, 3-2, Flash, Vigilance. When a Guardian of Faith enters the battlefield, any number of other target creatures you control phase out. Not bad. Slide that one right down there. Another one out of the Commander Boxes, Grave Endeavor. Five, black, black. Roll a D10 and choose one result. A uh, creature card from your graveyard. Uh, return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a number of 1-1 counters on it equal to the result. Then, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life where X is the other result. 2d10s. Okay, so one comes out for counters and the other goes for life your opponents lose. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me scoot that. Make some more. Make some room, people. Ah, Orb of Dragon Kind. One in a red. Artifact. One in tap. One colorless in tap. Add two mana in any combination of colors. Spend this mana only to cast dragon spells or activate dragon abilities. Ooh. Ooh, I know. I know a couple of dragon decks that could be using this one. Uh, one... And one red and tap, sacrifice orb of dragon kind. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may reveal a dragon card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Very nice, very, very nice. Uh, we got a genie, and then we got a purple worm. You nasty worm eating. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Oh, I love that art. Loving that art. Look at that. That looks so dope. Just all kinds of laser beams coming out of the nine eyes of that beholder. Yes. But we've seen the uh, we've seen the uh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant before. All right, so we got a golem. Iron golem. And then we got Hall of the Storm Giants. Ooh, what's this? Uh, it's a land. Uh, if you control two or more other lands, Hall of Storm Giants enters the battlefield tapped. Oh, we've seen this. We've seen this come through. Uh, I believe we got a copy of this in the uh, Draft Booster Bundle Box. But uh, five and a blue. Until end of turn, Hall of Storm Giants becomes a 7-7 seven, seven blue giant creature with ward. It's still a land. Very nice. Very nice. I love the way they're doing that with the... Uh, lands. Oh, and we got Dungeon of the Mad Mage with a goblin on the back. I, I like the way that they're doing that. Let me focus in a little bit and chit chat with y'all. So I like the way they're doing that with the modular arts on these uh, for the lands. They stand out. They're really awesome. It's like kind of funny to see them come out and see that sitting on the board. It's going to be really dope to uh, 
you know, go ahead and slam some of those in some of the decks that I have and be able to sport them. I think they look really, really dope. I have a, a lot of fun seeing those. I like it. Um, but yes, yes, I love what they're doing with those. Oh, we got a foil white dragon. Nice. Okay. So we've got a mountain here. Let's see. All right. We've got a Yuan T. Mallison. So, yeah, he's one of the blue snake rogue. Uh, Yuan T. Mallison can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. To the dungeon. We've got Phantom Steed off of the commander boxes. Uh, three and a blue horse illusion, four three with flash. When it, the Phantom Steed enters the battlefield, exile another target creature you control until Phantom Steed leaves the battlefield. When Phantom Steed attacks, create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of the exiled creature. Ooh. Exile it. Uh, except it's an illusion in addition to its other types. Sacrifice that token at the end of combat. Mmm, you can borrow somebody's big nasty creature and then swing off with it? Yeah, that'll be... That'll, that'll tick some people off real quick. Oh, we got another copy of the Book of Vile Darkness. This one is just full art. Non-foil. <laughs> a bullet. I'd hit you with a bullet. Alright. Oh, we got a full art white dragon. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we got the okra jelly? Okra jelly? X and a green ooze for OO. Uh, let's see. Trample enters the battlefield with X11 counters on it. So you got to pump it up. Uh, split. The okra jelly dies if it had two. When the Ochre Jelly dies, if it had two or more 1-1 one, one counters on it, create a token that's a copy of it at the beginning of the next end step. The token enters the battlefield with half as many 1-1 one, one counters on it, rounded down. Mm hmm. Nice. Very nice. Alright, we got the genie and the old drawn art there. And then we got Delina, Wild Mage. Elf Shaman, three and a red. Uh, she's a 3-2. When she enters, when she attacks, choose target creature you control, then roll a d20. 1 to 14, create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that creature. Except it's not legendary and it has exiled this creature at the end of combat. Or, if you get 15 to 20, create one of those... I'll create one of those tokens again. Roll again. Ooh, so create a token. Create one of those tokens. Roll again. So basically the 1 to 14 tokens, if you hit 15 to 20, you make a token and then roll again. Huh. I wonder if you can just keep rolling off on that and making more and more and more.